I want to do talk just about where C++ is going and where C++ 17 is. I just gave this talk last on Tuesday actually at the Code Dive in Poland. And this is the part, part of the talk was about what C, whether C++ 17 is great or just okay. So this is a slide that you probably have seen, or may, if you haven't seen it on the actual cpb.org, it's showing you where we are. The black line is showing where, where we are right now, just past November. The deep green bars are the, are the TSs that actually made it. You have special math TS, file system TS, library fundamental, and parallelism one. The light green ones are the one that didn't make it. Okay, these are the major features. If the green bar doesn't have an ending, it means that it's still ongoing. That's pretty much all you need to know as far as the major features that made it. Um, this wouldn't be much of a lightning talk if I go over every single feature that we have for C++ 17. Uh, no, you don't, we're not going to do that. You can probably go to any number of websites. I, I have a set of slides that shows all of these features that you can link through. So by the number of pages, you see that we're certainly increasing from C++ 11 to about by another 200 pages. On this slide are some other standards that I oversee, and each one of them have also um, increased by about the same number as well to exactly 200 pages. There's some co coincidence in that. I'm not going to expand on that anymore. However, C++ 17 is pretty stable compared to the other um, releases, 11 had about 500 D, um, national body comments, um, 14, and then 14 had, had only about 100. I mean, it was a, a minor release. Seven, 11 is definitely, it was a major release, but it was 10 years before we had one before. And 17, and the question is about 17 is, is it a major release, a minor release, or is it just okay? It had about 400 um, national body comments. Pretty much well spread out. US, by, as usual, had the majority of them, over 180. But we had comments from Russia, Japan, um, Switzerland, Finland, and the usual candidates, Spain, UK, Japan, and Canada always puts, puts in a bunch of them. Um, LEWG, I'm glad to say, even though I had the chair of part of EWG, we only had about, oh, about less than 60 comments to work through. LEWG and LWG had the bulk of it. Um, SG1, where I said the other time, had only about 20 to go through. So, on the whole, what did we not, what did we change, did we not change from Issaquah? No concepts, no unified call syntax, no default comparison, no operator dot, an inline variable that was in a comment asking for it to be taken out. No, it stays. The changes that were voted in in Issaquah to fix this to C++ 17, we remove after so many years, deprecate the deprecated exception specification for C++ 17. Yay, we finally got it. We added elementary string conversion and stood by, which was already was not added, was not added. Expect some more controversy around that later on. Um, some new features that we're putting in the pipeline for 20, pack expansions in using declaration, lifting restrictions on requires expression, and of the TSs, the networking and ranges TS are feature freeze. Modules and coroutine TS are almost ready. Parallelism 2, concurrency 2, and executor 1. Executor is something that I've been working on for, two, for the last two months with all the authors, and we're going to break it out of concurrency and put it in its own TS. And of course, reflection continues to incubate. Contracts, you can expect TSs potentially from contracts, numerics, graphics, and transactional memory too. And after November, the progress is that we're going to hit Kona running to finish the rest of the, 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 the national body comments that we didn't get to finish, which is only about 20% left. And they will probably be, most likely, they will be um, done. And then they will issue something called a draft international standard called DIS in Kona. And then the national bodies will vote. And it will be an up-down vote at that point with no comments. And then most likely, we hope that it will be approved and then celebrated in July 27 in my hometown, Toronto, where the University of Toronto and a number of other people like uh, Google, Codeplay, and uh, is hosting this particular meeting. Um, after C++ 17, what happens? The default, we think, is now three-year cycle, C++ 20, C++ 23. And then the 20 prediction for, for C++ 20, we're going to try this again because we tried it for 17, didn't quite work. Um, we're going to have hopefully have concepts, ranges, concurrency TS1 and 2, parallelism 2, executor 1, coroutine 1, 
networking one, modules one. If reflection has its own TS, that would be there, transactional memory and numerics, and hopefully maybe heterogeneous TS one. So we, as I said, we did try this once at predicting where the future is going, but as other people have, famous people have commented, the problem with predicting the future is the future. And improving, so this is actually a direct slide from Bianca's um, talk in May 2015, where he talked about potentially these things being in there. And this is a scorecard. Modules, no, we don't have that. We don't have contracts. We are getting a type safe union. Um, we don't have basic net for higher level concurrencies. We don't have, we have, we don't have basic networking. We don't have SIMD. We don't have improved futures, coroutines, or transactional memory. We did get parallel algorithm. As far as simplifying core language use and addressing major sources of errors are concerned, um, no concepts, no default comparisons. That was um, decisively knocked out in Issaquah. No uniform core syntax or operator dot. Array view and string view is going to be there. Um, arrays on the stack, no. And optional, yes. So how is that going? Let's see, that's one, two, three, four features we got. So the verdict on C++17, is it great? Or is it just okay? Well, this is the verdict on Reddit that I saw some of the comments. Some people said you blew it. Some people said you did a nice job. It's not a major release, but it's not minor either. People says no risk, no gain. Safe and conservative wins, on the other hand. I'm not gonna go through all this, but I think the final comment is that it's, a, in my opinion, is that it's a medium, it's an okay release. Thanks very much, everybody.